Good morning, I'm Larry Wood of the Green Winer, and I'm standing here in front of the wines at Bunker Hill Vineyard Winery in uh, Duet, Florida. Uh, what I want to talk to you about today and emphasize today is wine laws and rankings. This is a chart that's posted at Bunker Hill Vineyard and Winery it's seven days a week, and I want to focus right here on these, this chart right here. I know you can see it on the video, it's right there. Okay. Understand this, every winery in America, not just Bunker Hill Vineyard Winery, every winery in America of every state of the union, if they're producing wines for you, the wine consumer, one of these five have to be clearly printed onto the label. Now that's to your advantage as a consumer because now all you have to do is pick up any bottle of wine produced from anywhere in America, from any American winery, and look at the label. What does it say? That's what we're going to discuss right now, so you can distinguish real American wineries. And we're down to about 29%, that's all that's left in America, real American wineries from the factory produced wineries, wine producers. So, we're going to start at the top of the list, the best there is, and we're going to work our way down to the ones that aren't very good. Okay, you ready? Number one, this is a home run out of the park. This is the best there is. This is a real American winery. Four words on that label. This will be there every time. Grown, produced, vented, and bottled. Again, those four words are, this is the best there is in America. Grown, produced, vented, and bottled. I don't care what you see outside the door. You want to look at the label. Wineries are notorious for planting show plants. So you go outside and you see them grow and you think they're growing everything. Don't, I want you to walk in with blinders on. I want you to walk over to the bottle of wine. I want you to pick it up. So if you came in here and you picked up this bottle of wine at Bunker Hill Vineyard and Winery, I want you to look at the label. What you're going to see on the front now, not in the back in tiny letters, but right on the front, grown, produced, fitted, and bottled. Again, grown, produced, vented, and bottled. That tells you, the wine consumer, as soon as you walk into this building, that the stuff, the grapes grown to make this bottle of grape wine came from under your feet. Yes, there are vines out front, of course there are, because we grow the stuff for this bottle of wine. These aren't show plants. This is actually the stuff that makes this bottle of wine. That's what you want to see on a bottle of wine produced in America. Grown, produced, vented, and bottled. Now the question may come up, what if I'm in a, in a state in America where they're growing, say, apples, and they're making apple wine? Does the same rules apply? The answer is yes. You'd want to see on that bottle of apple wine, grown, produced, vented, and bottled. That's telling you it's coming from under your feet. The apples making that bottle of wine came from where you are, not shipped in thousands of miles away in the form of juices and concentrates. Grown is the magic word. Underline that. Remember that. Don't lose it. Four words. Grown, produced, vented, and bottled. That's a real American winery. Then you drop down to number two, says produced, vented, and bottled. That can still be good. It just means that that winery is not growing the stuff for the bottle of wine. So you would want to ask them, I see you're not growing the stuff for this bottle of wine. Where's it coming from? They should tell you, well, it's coming five miles down the road or, or coming six miles down the road, whatever it is to make this bottle of wine. If you were in a state making apple wine, they could say, well, the apples are coming. If you go down the road, turn left, go right back two streets, that's where it's coming from. Well, you know, you can make a decision as a consumer if you want to take hard-earned money out of your pocket and give to them, but you know the answer. Then you get down to number three and four. These are factory produced uh, wines. They're made primarily from juices and concentrates. Notice the word grown is not on their label at all. Just produced and bottled, invented and bottled. Vented and cellared are interchangeable words. So it, some bottles may say cellared, some may say vented. That just means aged. Don't get hung up on that. But only two words. Now the questions you have to ask them is I see you're not growing the stuff for this bottle of wine. Where are you sourcing the juices and concentrates from? You must ask that question before you take hard earned money out of your pocket. Keep in mind, that's probably 80% of the marketplace today. And, there, and the winery will be thousands of miles away. 
very profitable operations because you notice they're not growing the stuff for these bottles of wine. If they were, guess what? They would have grown on their label like a real American winery. And then you get to number five. Number five only has one word, bottled. Now, you're on your own with this one because they're not doing anything. They call themselves wineries. But what are they really doing? Well, they're, they're taking a bottle of wine, usually that someone else has bottled, they bring it into their facility and they put their label on the outside to make you think that they're real American winers. Now, there's millions of bottles out there like this. If you see one of those, you better ask lots of questions before you take your hard-earned money out of your pocket because no way should you compare one that has just one word to one that has four words on the label. The four word vineyards and wineries, those are the ones we should be patronizing. Those are the ones that we should be making sure we don't lose because that's our heritage and we're losing them every day. We've got to start pushing back as Americans. Please visit our website. Our website is www.bunkerhillvineyard.com Again, our website is www.bunkerhillvineyard.com. Take this video, if you would, and share it with all that you can. Make sure that everyone you know that is a wine consumer has this information so they can actually start making better and wiser decisions on how to spend their money. This chart is not posted anywhere. Wherever wines are sold, this is not posted. It should be, but it's not. This is the only place you're going to find it. And so please make sure you, you, you share this. Everyone's got it on their phone so they can actually go picking up a bottle of wine and making sure they're getting what they're, they're paying for. <coughs> Excuse me. This is the Green Winer signing off. Until next time, salute and happy days.